What's up fam? How you guys doing today? And today we are back and right now I'm gonna share with you guys a simple day in the life. We're gonna head over to do some errands today, like always, but I'm also gonna be sharing with you guys my current workout split that we're gonna be starting for this particular off season with the homie, obviously same coach I'm gonna keep forever, my main man, Nick Bueno. Show you guys, or actually I'm gonna share with you guys what I'm actually gonna be doing for the next few months to prepare to add more muscle, add more size, and get ready for my next show next year because I'm gonna do that same damn show. I'm gonna make sure I win. And I'm gonna make sure I get the, the overall. There's a lot of things I'm throwing out on the open. I'm a big person where I will push every fucking thing in my power to make sure what I, I set my mind towards, towards to, to get done. So guys, that's the goal. That's what we're gonna be doing right now. We're gonna head over to the gym and get a nice little arm workout. But I'm ready. I'm excited. Hope you guys are too. But without further ado, hey man, give the motherfucking intro. Right now, we are getting ready to go to the gym. I'm about to sip on my pre-workout. Actually, I'm going to show you guys what my pre-workout is. Like, honestly, hell the truth. You guys know what I take every single day, but I'm going to show you guys what exactly the flavor I'm taking. So if you go right here in my gym bag, right here, you can beam. Right now, two scoops mixed into the shaker bottle right there. Two scoops, pink lemonade. Obviously, use my code. If you use my code Ant-Man, you save money on your entire purchase. Go, guys. Hit the link in the description down below. Check out their products. My personal favorite is the fucking greens. The chocolate tastes like Nesquik. I'm gonna keep repeating until someone purchases it using my code. Guys, support your boy Ant-Man. Anyways, guys, let's head over to the gym. We got an arm day, got the pump cover on. Guys, I'll tell you the truth. This is the next colorway of the next merch. Stay tuned, new merch coming out pretty soon. Anyways, guys, let's head to the gym. So we are back from the gym, juicy ass arm pump. Hell fuck yeah. Um, we're back on the campus right now. I'm waiting in this bum ass traffic. It's 4, 4.30 and hell traffic. Hell traffic. Anyways, we are here on campus and I'm about to have, I'm about to probably enter my crib maybe like five, 10 minutes. Um, but we're gonna get uh, the post-workout meal prepared. I'm going towards potatoes and chicken just because I already have potatoes made and chicken takes really fast to cook. So we're gonna go home and make that post-workout meal, get some errands done for the day because I do still gotta go to the post office. I have one special post office in the area that I found that closes at 6 p.m. So it gives me extra time to pack packages and ship them out. But the only downside about that is that the packages don't go out till the next day since it's about an hour after most of the post office is closed. It's a sacrifice I'm willing to give out in order to get my packages out. If that makes sense. Bro, I think, I'm a, I, think I should just quit with YouTube and bodybuilding and be a rhymer, totally, you know? But anyways, guys, let's get to the crib and let's have this post-workout meal, so. What's up, fam? We home. We back. And I showered, as you can tell, probably. But we still look ripped. Whoo! Ha! Whoo! Anyways, uh, right now we have made the post-post workout meal because right after the gym, I was really hungry. And the chicken was still frozen. The potatoes weren't made. 
Honestly, I had no food, I wasn't prepared, and I just blame myself for that, but whenever I'm whenever I'm in that kind of situation, I promise I didn't plan this ad, but whenever I'm in a situation like that where I can't get my meal in right away, I have a protein bar and my sponsor, Primal Nutrition. Yes, I left Underground Nutrition. So Primal Nutrition, my supplement store sponsor from now on. They got these bomb ass Bear Bell uh, protein bars, and my go-to favorite is the cookies and cream one. I usually have one of that or two of that after my gym. And for one bar, the macros are eight fat, 20 carb, and 20 protein. It's a perfect ass macro. Like the fuck? A nice little quick snack. I think it's about roughly 190 calories. Bro, that's just straight up banging. Anyways, right now my post-workout or post-post-workout meal is done. I got 200 grams of sweet potatoes. Then I got, I'm about to put on, I can't talk right now, but I'm going to put on roughly five ounces of this chicken onto this meal right here. And then, then I got this steamed broccoli bag. So I lately been switching over to the steamed broccoli just because, or I mean the pre-made broccoli, just because whenever I go home and I get enough food for the week, um, I always overbuy food. That's who I am. I don't never want to have not a meal in my house ready for me. So whenever I do that situation, I always buy too much. Where when I go home for the weekend, I come back, or I go home for a week, whatever it is, I go somewhere. By the time I get back home, if I have a little bit left over, it just somehow gets bad. So, this particularly right here, honestly, I think is my best alternative. Obviously, not fresh, not the best, but it has the job done and it gives me a good amount of vegetables. And then I take this meal right here, put the camera down for you guys so you can see everything I'm doing. This is about roughly five ounces of my chicken. I mix some uh, onions in there, so I just gotta estimate a little bit. So it's about roughly five and a half ounce, uh, about five quarter ounces. So this is the meal, guys. Right here, five ounces of chicken, two hundred grams of sweet potato, some broccoli, and there we go. I'm gonna put the camera down. And I'm gonna do this so you can get a taste test really quick before my camp battery dies. Anyways. All the little pieces together. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. So I'm gonna eat this meal, do a little work on my computer, and then we're gonna talk about my Vulcan plan, full in depth Vulcan plan. Hi, right, boy. I'm gonna get jacked the spot. And then come back on stage, bigger, better, and ever. Well, bigger, better than ever. There you go. So, eat this meal. I'm gonna get you guys for the sit down talk. Yeah, I look good with this dad cap look. Gucci, like this vibe right here. Whoo! No, I'm gonna stick with this. So, catch you guys in a little bit. Peace out. Okay guys, so we are now, as you can say, wrapping up the night. It's literally about, let me get my backup phone, because obviously right now we're recording the entire video with the iPhone, the work phone, right here. Um, It's fucking 4 a.m. We are wrapping up the video, work, content, boys and busy. We got work tomorrow, but we still gotta do this this content stuff for you guys. So now let's sit down and talk about the program that the coach and I have sat down and discussed and created. And I've been following it for about roughly, ooh, my voice cracked. I've been following it about for roughly two weeks already. And I've been feeling amazing. 
well, obviously because of new program, you're gonna feel that newbie workout, new program vibes for the beginning. But obviously when everything settles in and I'm just going with a groove, I'm excited for the progress. Like I'm excited to see everything change in the next couple of months, right before I start my prep, um, hopefully maybe around March. But furthermore, now let's just talk about the actual workout plan. Um, so for the workout plan, what I'm be doing now, you probably already remember my previous split where I pretty much did everything once a week except chest and shoulders, and that did show a lot during my my this year's prep. Like, and then when I stepped on stage, I, I got a lot of comments, I got a lot of DMs, I even got my friends telling me, "Yo, bro, your chest got bigger, your chest got fuller, your chest got more defined," and that's what I prioritized it. I emphasized on it. I really, really went ham on those days because I know for a fact, no matter what I do, that's a lack in, those two muscle groups are my lack in part. I know my shoulders are coming up, my shoulders are really good, but my chest is definitely still my smallest muscle group out of everything else that I have. And so taking that perspective of using those strategies that we brought up, my chest and shoulders, from the feedback from the judges, they stated that I needed more size on my legs and more definition and just overall size. So we're taking the strategies of what we did with growing the chest and shoulders and implementing them into my leg routine. And now that means your boy is doing two leg days a week. But with a twist, I prefer having my quads and hams on separate days when I do twice a week because it allows me to go even extra ham or extra let me put extra emphasis and force or just more energy on that particular body part of the leg rather than like, for example, going hamstring first or doing quad first and being tired and not being able to do the, the next movement to my full ability. So having it split up, of course, I'm still doing uh, calves on both days, but having them split up uh, the past two, three weeks has honestly been the best. And I don't know if I ever talked about this on YouTube, but I've been having a weird feeling on my lower quads lately. No, not my lower quads. My inner groin area, like, I'm, I don't give a fuck. It's YouTube, it's my page. I can show whatever I want. So right down, right down there, pretty much, I'm feeling a weird pain. And I haven't been able to squat properly. So having this, I haven't been able to squat at all. So having this split, and allow me to really focus on those two body parts separately and using that mind muscle connection while working out those days honestly feels much better much that's not a word uh honestly feels amazing and on top of that i've been incorporating with this fucking workout routine i've been incorporating going to the same people as i did during prep trifecta i'm incorporating them or incorporating them in my off season as well and that's helped me just honestly improve and getting better in the gym right now, especially with the issue of my legs. And guys, literally, so this is kind of what my structure for working out, what my structure for um, kind of like keep myself in shape for the off season. Um, to a little more emphasize on trifecta, I'll definitely do a different video, a more detailed video about that, come, and a different video where I'm gonna talk about what I'm doing in the off season. Besides my training, I think, maybe the next video, maybe the next video. I might incorporate it being like, um, what's it called? I might make the next video based off like how to keep your body in check and taking care of your actual body. I'm just elaborating now. Fuck. I'm just going off. Anyways, guys, this has pretty much been the end of the video. Um, this is kind of sum up of what my workout routine, routine, everything is. Probably already said that, most of the definitely did. I'm tired, it's 4 a.m. I gotta work at 10 a.m. And I gotta do my other business at eight. <sighs> I hate being an adult. But guys, the wrap of the video, I'm, I'm tired. Wrap of the video right here, guys. <sighs> Sorry. I feel it's, it's rude. Rude of me, rude of me. But peace out, Girl Scout, signing out, Ant Man, fitness. Don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, hit the bell notification.
And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, homies. Yeah.